Hello everyone, welcome to Beauty in the Garden. I'm T. So today's video, we are shopping at Lowe's. I actually came to Lowe's to see if I could find some design elements for the front porch and the patio. And if so, if I can mix and match indoor and outdoors. Some things really pulled my eyes and you know, this was one of them. I kind of just like neutral things and the striped, this is called a broken striped pillow. It was very, very pretty. It was simple and I like the lines. I like things with straight lines. And this was a very nice pillow, but I already had something similar to this, but I want something to bring out the um, emerald green that I have. And surprisingly, this pillow that I'm showing you guys, this one I just touched was a very soft pillow. I thought it was gonna be really rough. The next one too was just a plain striped it one. Now right here, they have these beautiful butterflies. And you guys, I thought this was really cute to go um, over there in the main garden because my main garden pillows are starting to deteriorate. Um, they are outdoor pillows, but I had them for quite a long time and they're starting to um, wear out. Y'all, that relaxed pillow, I swear you guys can get that from Walmart. This beautiful pillow right here, I really wanted this pillow, but you guys, it didn't have a zipper. It was done very, very nicely as an ascent pillow. Right next to it, it has this splash of blue. I thought it was like, you know, like paintbrush swipes. I thought that was kind of really pretty. It was very different. Um, right next to the hair, they have the stripes, a little bit of patterning, and this blue. Okay, now they have these tables. I really like that this plain table with you guys, but I wish it was made out of maybe some type of clay or something like that so I could put it out there in the sand pit because I'm looking for something to go out there in the sand pit. So these colors, I didn't really care for the colors um, and they have a top so you can put your throw in there um, if you want to. And all of these were very nice. They were just very, very nice, but it was nothing I wanted. Now the pots, oh the pots you guys i'm telling you these pots this pot right here was everything <laughs> oh my goodness but i know i have so many things already and sometimes i'm just like you know what you just can't just get everything you want so but my eyes is on this i actually wrote that pot down Oh, this is a beautiful pot right here so i have a couple of pots that's on the patio that actually i have for 10 years and you guys they are actually starting to crack and it's time for me to let them go and i need something that's going to fit that area and fit what look i'm going for now all of these pots are just stunning and plain is simple it's just just stunning Now in that pot I wouldn't put outside. I think it would actually get algae on it or just start to just turn really fady or really funky color. But look at these colors here, y'all. Tell me what y'all guys think of this. It's like a peach clay color pots. I really like that. This was super cute. This was super, super cute. And I don't know how good it will hold up in the weather because I'm thinking sometimes when it gets too wet, some things start to mold and crack and I didn't want that. But y'all tell me about this color. It's like a salmon, some of it's like an orangey color. It's really pretty peachy. This pot right here is going to come home with me, you guys. I'm coming back to go get this pot. I have thought about this pot and thought about this pot and I'm going to go back and I'm going to go get that pot, <laughs> okay? Okay, so here is some nice pillows. Now, this is not particularly my style, but I thought this right here was super cute. There were the little pops of balls that's on the pillow. I think it was cute and very dainty. Like, okay, so the pillows next to it was just really plain. And I think you can um, move this in and out and fit a room very nicely. This pillow made me dizzy. This pillow right here made me dizzy, but it was pretty. It made me dizzy. Y'all let me know if you guys been shopping for your spring outdoor living. I have been looking around for just different elements to put out into the garden. Just to, ooh, that pillow right there too. Oh, uh, it's everything. 
Okay, so I am contemplating on what I really want to do. Y'all see, I went back to this pot. <laughs> I'm going to go back and get my pot. Okay, and that is my pot. I'm speaking on it's my pot. I'm going to get it. Okay. All right, now I'm heading to the garden center area outside. You guys, they have grapes. Y'all, I planted uh, mustard dimes and concord grapes. And the vine... I need to tie it and need to prune it and things like that. I really need to get to around to doing that. Um, this, I think, is pretty much what the variety I have. It's more like a Concord seedless grape. They have some hardy figs. I think that was the Chicago fig. Um, I have a Chicago fig out there. And it's really tasty. It's really tasty. Okay. Now, I was looking at this um, kiwi. Y'all let me know. If you live in North Carolina... South Carolina or Georgia and let me know if you have grown this um, kiwi raspberries strawberries I am going to attempt to try to grow the white strawberries I think Walmart had the white strawberries so I will be heading over there to go pick up a pack now I do have a great deal of strawberries inside of my greenhouse I have some in grow bags and I have to have some in hanging pots they have some asparagus. They have onion sets. I don't like the onion sets, you guys. Um, they don't work for me, so I don't mess with them. Uh, either growing them for seed or buying them as plant, that is the way to go for me. Um, the sets don't ever give me nice sized onions. So my mom actually has some nice sized onions from them. I I don't know, must picked up a really bad batches. And it just never worked out for me but here are some potatoes um my potatoes i have already is sprouting i will show you guys in a later video um of my seed potatoes if you guys are interested in seeing my seed potatoes and knowing where i'm going to be planting up my seed potatoes i just showed you guys a video on how to get your sweet potato slips so make sure you guys check that video out i'll leave that right at the top of the screen I went to the grocery store to find some elephant garlic. They did not have any elephant garlic, and that's what I want. I have a great deal of the regular garlic, though. And rhubarb. I never tried it. Never tried it. So check out this deal, you guys. $5.37 for this beautiful planter right here. You guys, I did pick up some, so please check out your loads for some deals. Video, please don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I do upload a video. And remember, there's beauty in everyone's garden. And bye-bye for now.